Hi, I'm Dave Ovid from PH Data. Today, we are going to be discussing Power BI page navigation. We will be showcasing three different types of page navigation using the page navigation action, the bookmark action, and the drill through action. To get started with creating a page navigation button, we're going to add a shape from the insert tab of the Power BI desktop application. Once we add a shape, we can resize it and we will go to the settings and the formatting options where we'll enable the action. Once we've enabled the action, we will be able to select the page navigation option under the type of action that we want to choose. Now that this page navigation option has been selected, we can select our destination as our detail level page. We're also going to add some text so that we know that this button is going to be for the page navigation action. Once we've added our text, we're going to be able to use our page navigation button by control and clicking in Power BI desktop app. Note that once you publish this to Power BI service, you won't have to hit control and people will be able to interact with the button by selecting it with just a click. Once we've navigated to our destination page, we'll be able to create a bookmark here in order to use our second mode of page navigation, bookmarks. To create a bookmark, first we need to enable the bookmarks pane from the view tab. Under show panes, select bookmarks. Once this pane has appeared on the right side, we're going to add a bookmark and take note of that bookmark as we will use it in our next step. We'll navigate back to the executive summary page. We're going to create another shape and we'll title this one bookmark. Once in the settings here, we'll enable the action again, but this time we'll select the bookmark type and we'll select the bookmark we just created as our destination. Once again, you'll be able to control and click on this in order to navigate to our bookmark that we just created. For our last step, we're gonna create a drill through page navigation. In order to do this, we need to add a drill through to our detail level page. So I'm gonna add state here. Once I've added state here, I can navigate back to my executive summary. I'm going to create a, another button call this one drill through. And under the action type, I'm going to select drill through. And for the destination, I'm going to choose our detail level page. Once I've done this, I'll be able to select an option from our sales by state graph over here. Once I have the graph selected on a single state like California, I can click on the drill through and you'll notice that I can control and click on that. It'll take me to the drill through page and it'll be filtered as needed. If you do not have an option selected on the charts though, you'll notice that you are not able to click on the drill through and it'll ask you to select a single data point from state. So again, once we click on the state, we'll be able to click on drill through and navigate to our detail level page with our drill through enabled. We hope you found this helpful. To see more Power BI content, visit our blog at phdata.io or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.